gifts for baby Jesus. They brought their most precious treasures oh, of all. Frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Special, good. sparkly, love, lovely smelling, gleaming things just right for a king. The three wise men. Actually, if you met them, you probably would have thought they were kings because they were so rich and clever and important looking. Set on it. <laughs> <laughs> they rode their camels across the endless desert, yeah. up steep, steep mountains, down into deep, deep valleys, through raging rivers over grassy plains. Give it to baby Jesus. Night and day, and day and night, for hours that turned into days, that turned into weeks, that turned into months, and at last, they reached Jerusalem. Jerusalem is by far the most important city for miles around, and, as anyone can tell you, that's where a palace would be, and kings are born in palaces, so that's where they went. But they were in for a surprise. They went to see King Herod. Surely he'd know where this baby was, but he didn't. In fact, he didn't like the sound of a new king. It made him cross. He didn't want anyone to be king except him. But Herod's advisors told the three wise men what was written in their books, what God had said about the baby. Go to Bethlehem, that's where you'll find her. Suddenly, the star they had seen in the east started moving again, showing them the way. So the three wise men... So the three wise men followed the star out of the big city, along the road, into the little town of Bethlehem. They followed the star through the streets of Bethlehem, out of the nicest parts of town, through the not-so-nice parts of town, into the really, really not nice parts of town, down on the dirt track until it stopped over a tiny little house. But wait, it wasn't a palace, and there weren't any guards or servants or flags or red carpets or trumpets or anything. Did they get it wrong, or was this God something different? Sure enough, in that little house there, sitting on his mother's knees, they found him, the baby king. The three men knelt before their little king. They took off their rich royal turbans and gleaming golden crowns. They bowed their noble heads to the ground and gave them their sparkling treasures. The journey they had begun so many centuries before had <coughs> led three wise men here, to a little town, to a little house, to a little child, to the king God had promised David all those years before. But this child was a new kind of king. Though he was the prince of heaven, he had become poor. Though he was the mighty God, he had become a helpless baby. The king hadn't come to be the boss. He had come to be the servant. Yay! Yay!